somewhere. Yes. <laughs> I love there's, it. I think there's a few turns ahead. <laughs> We are in Smitskral, which is there. So you can see the distance traveling from Willowmore. All right, so this will be about three quarters through the, the Bowie Hans. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's again myself, Anneli, and Mia. We are still driving through the Babians Kloof. We have now left Smitskral after a lovely lunch together with my sister Madeleine and her husband Merrick and her children. So, and some monkeys and a baboon. Yes, uh, <laughs> every, everybody was there. We are now on our way to the place where we're going to stay the night, which is called Bergplas. And apparently it is some proper uphill driving that is still laying ahead. So. And I'm really looking forward. This little place is at the top of the mountain and completely secluded there's actually nothing around and also no electricity and no warm water so i don't know if that's we'll see completely off the grid yes it's yeah. going to be fun okay we're going to uh out there and take a little earlier I would say particularly difficult, but okay. it's, it's a very uh, it's an intriguing ride. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now creeping down to Duet's Clip. So it is quite a rough road, but we are taking it slowly. I think there's been lots of rain here, so that's why there's quite a lot of there's a big one here. Oh. Right, the water flowed over many places in the road. So this is what a very Vana looks like. <laughs> and this is why. Look at our road ahead on our <laughs> GPS. I think there's a few turns ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, but I have to, to also keep myself steady. <laughs> are we in low range yet? Or not? Yes, now we put it in low range now. It's just a few parts that are just a bit too bumpy. So we need to go through it a bit slower. So now, low range now. Nine second gear low range. Shakey, shakey. I'm going to smile. Yes, oh! Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, that we are at the top yeah i found that very stressful how did you find that i found it very enjoyable <laughs> <laughs> but it was beautiful i mean it's, it's absolutely stunning stunning views so we're taking the walk here at bergplas well, at the top of the pass, we're taking the walk to the cable car, or the, what did they call it? I don't know, it was, it was like a, a trolley. Yeah, we're not sure, but the Madeleine says they were told that it was used to get pro fresh produce and water across the gorge before there was any roads. Pass. Yeah, yeah. Any, any roads. So, but we don't know the time frame or anything like that, but it seems quite old. But so, we're going to have a look. Some parts of it remaining. Yes. Yeah, let's have a look. There's already some remnants of the cable that crosses the valley. So beautiful. Sure. The whole place is beautiful. It is, it's lovely. Yeah. all gathered here at the cable car pulley thingy <laughs> which was used to transport produce and stuff across this deep valley according the time, to our source Madeleine and Mary <laughs> yeah, we have a very we have a very reliable source they are locals and they reliably tells us that it was used to carry stuff across or get stuff across this deep valley before there were access roads 
Okay, let's get a little more factual about the cableway. The Winston LaRue cableway was designed and built by Winston LaRue in 1967 across the 386 meter deep gorge between the two main farms, Good Hope and Enkeldoorn. It reduced traveling time from three and a half hours to 12 minutes. It has a span of 410 meters and had a carrying capacity of five tons. As far as known, it's the only private cableway built on the continent of Africa, if not the world, and that by an ordinary young farmer. So now we're on our way to our place for the night, here at the top of the pass. It's called Bergplas. Berg yes. So let's see what it looks like. I mean, yes, it's nothing smart. It's just like an overnight hut, really. Yes. Yeah. But we'll bring you all the footage to see. No, oh, we're bringing it to you. We're bringing it to you. We're bringing it to you. And on our linker kant is South Africa's national fool. I'm hearing water. Yeah, there's water. I see there's a geyser on the roof as well. It's nice, eh? I feel like I'm in a hostel somewhere. Yes. <laughs> I love this, it. This really feels great. I love it. And the environment is stunningly beautiful. Look, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to have a nice bag here. Madeleine is maybe so self-conscious about my kitchen habits that I'm going to sort out my kitchen now. Because I can't remember what's where anymore. Yes, I'm going to get a hat. 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 I'm going